Any extra SpaceX or Tesla shares? Or have you very much maxed out your diversified fund to the point where you feel comfortable? I'm reaching my limit with the money I oversee. We sold around a quarter of the shares for clients when the stock increased by 20 times after we purchased it. I didn't directly sell any shares. I made a commitment to our mutual fund directors. I exclusively make mutual fund investments. Normally, in this case, I made an exception and declared that I would enter last. Until we sell every share of our client's stock, I won't sell a single share for her. And in terms of purchasing more, I would do so if I could, but I am unable to. And other men in our company are encouraging. They act in such a way that this price is excellent. When they first released this model, the price was supposed to be halved from what it is currently. They're going to sell the car for maybe a third less than what it is currently worth, or half and half. There are also credits. Therefore, this Toyota nearly brought the entire auto industry to its knees 20 years ago. With some of the most cutting-edge production capabilities and software development initiatives in the sector, Tesla is a leader in efficiency and technology. Its performance, extended range, and minimal maintenance costs make it the most efficient and dependable electric vehicle on the market. In actuality, there is more to investing in Tesla as a company than only purchasing its stock. Instead, it serves to support the company's culture, impact of its products, and mission. Additionally, it's a method to help create a sustainable future, which is already very much within reach. For just this one reason, many investors have determined that Tesla will be a successful investment, both in the short and long terms. We'll look into Ron Barron's remarks today as he makes another intriguing prediction about Tesla and its shares. Ron Barron is a well-known Tesla investor. This is a video you shouldn't miss if your portfolio includes Tesla stock. At the moment, Tesla, SpaceX, and Tesla are the more intriguing things. We have invested in Tesla at a comparable stage as when I was 16, and they were producing 40,000 cars annually in 2014 and 2015. They have been increasing by 50% annually and are currently doing a million eights as they approach 20 million, and they'll likely increase by, say, 25% to 30% the next year, similar or similar. However, a 25-year-old automobile is on its way, 30% in earnings, three times in units, and after that, they acquired the $6 billion a year battery company. And during the following three years, that will increase by three times, and that will increase 30 times. That has occurred. There was a lot of discussion about the UAW and the potential strike that the major three automakers are facing. And it's been mentioned that they have to cope with all of these EVs. Their cost basis is significantly greater than Tesla's. So every time they sell an EV, they also sell one less gasoline-powered car. And since they profit from selling gasoline-powered cars while losing money on EVs, the traditional OEMs are currently in trouble. And I believe that in the end, they will produce the units and the metal and they will purchase the software from Tesla. Tesla will function similarly to the Intel inside a Microsoft machine. That will be a Tesla. Everything that enables a car to know everything about itself on the inside will be Tesla. They will ultimately receive a license for that. Do you purchase? Billionaire investor and ardent Tesla supporter Ron Barron continues to garner headlines with his positive forecasts for the company's shares. His unwavering belief in Tesla's potential has captured the attention of the investing world, and its most recent estimates have shocked the sector. Barron, who continues to be a fervent booster of Tesla, recently made the astounding admission that he had more than $1 billion invested in Elon Musk's aerospace and satellite manufacturing company, SpaceX. He recently told CNBC in an interview that he thinks Tesla's valuation would rise significantly in the upcoming years. Welcome back to Tesla gentlemen. Tomorrow, Barron predicted with assurance that Tesla's stock market presence would increase to four or five times its existing level within the following seven years. In the midst of this, Tesla's stock has increased by an astonishing 120% this year, fueled by a variety of causes, including the rising trend of AI as an investing subject. With Linda Yaccarino now leading ECS, the Federal Reserve has softened its stance on inflation and Elon Musk has turned his attention back to the business. Our estimates show that if Tesla's stock price doubles from its current level, its market capitalization may rise to far over $4 trillion. 
a share price of around $276. Before we continue though, if you enjoy reading this kind of stuff, click the like button, subscribe, and enable post alerts to be informed about everything Tesla is doing. Ron Barron predicted a prosperous future for Tesla and its investors earlier this year, citing an extraordinary demand for its automobiles. Elon Musk wanted to build 20 million vehicles by 2030. Barron was even more upbeat, estimating that by 2030, Tesla shares might easily reach $1,500 per share. Barron has made bold predictions in his most recent Tesla stock predictions. Considering Tesla stock's current price of less than $300, he claimed to have an aggressive price target for the company that would see it reach $500 per share by 2025. This suggests that Tesla's stock price will rise significantly. Barron revealed that he currently owns 17.5 million shares of Tesla, which are worth $4.8 billion, in his most recent interview. In addition, he disclosed that since his original investment in SpaceX in 2017, he has grown his interest to over $1 billion. Notably, despite being a well-known financial manager with a net worth in the billions, Barron has previously made headlines for his incredibly positive remarks about Tesla and its stock. Additionally, since 2014, he has been a steadfast supporter of Tesla, earning an estimated $4 billion from a $380 million initial investment. Barron has continued to reiterate his unshakable optimistic attitude on Tesla in the wake of these spectacular gains, underscoring his lasting faith in the business. Can we honestly argue that Tesla stock is a smart buy right now based on Barron's reputation in the finance community? The performance of a company's stock market depends on a number of internal and external factors, thus there is typically no clear solution. However, recent developments with Tesla seem to indicate that it will be a very rewarding investment in the years to come. In what is seen as a monster rally, Tesla's stock has increased by a whopping 150% or more in 2023. The most recent data show that a variety of variables, including higher corporate earnings, a healthy EV market, and strategic battery charging alliances with leading industry players, have contributed to this amazing gain. Additionally, this week saw the most recent surge in momentum as Morgan Stanley analysts announced an astounding price target boost for Tesla, citing their positive perspective on the business state-of-the-art Kyojo supercomputer. Without a question, Life isn't perfect for Elon Musk's EV company. In actuality, Tesla continues to face a number of short-term difficulties, including a slowdown in revenue growth, a decline in operating margins, the ongoing EV market price war, and different macroeconomic threats. One thing is for certain, though. Wall Street and other analysts continue to be generally optimistic about Tesla's chances for future growth. For instance, well-known financial expert Kevin Paffrath identified and highlighted a number of levers that can support future growth in Tesla shares. The expert reiterated that when compared to other blue-chip firms like Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon, Tesla continues to be significantly undercapitalized by major funds. In addition, he pointed out that only 35% of large-size funds own Tesla and that investors in the stock have modest allocations. In a 40-page analysis, Morgan Stanley similarly demonstrated its continued bullishness on Tesla. Adam Jonas, a strategist at Morgan Stanley, pointed out that Tesla's recently installed Dojo supercomputer was in development and was slated to teach Tesla's SSD technology. This breakthrough might be crucial in driving the company's worth up to $500 billion. This happened after Musk made a very intriguing claim that robotics and artificial intelligence will ultimately be the only sources of Tesla's value. Tesla isn't simply a car manufacturer, as you can see. It is a business that aspires to develop an ecosystem for renewable energy that consists of EVs, solar energy, battery storage, and other associated goods and services. Tesla's goal is to hasten the global switch to renewable energy sources and develop goods that can take the place of some of the biggest global energy sources. Therefore, by making a financial investment in Tesla, you are also supporting the company's social and environmental initiatives. Buying stock in this business entails committing to an audacious ambition. Tesla is working to hasten the transition of the globe to renewable energy. Your investment thereby helps that important project. As a shareholder, you're supporting a business that consistently tests the limits.
How do you feel about Ron Barron's Tesla remarks? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're interested in learning more about what Tesla has been up to lately, click on the next video that appears on your screen. Hello, Tier.